the feed. Jackson, he'll drive on Klein. Watch the ball. Wine open, Mason. Free to fire, McCaleb. Bonner. Moore. Ball fake spot for Brown. Irving on the flyby. Flutter away. So now it's time to lock in your PGC habit. So the only way to lock in a habit is to do it every day. You'll only be great at that which you do every day. We're gonna make a believable peek at the rim and shot fake. Bobby Knight says this is the best fake in basketball, but it's only a great fake if two things happen. One, if you've got the reputation of being a good shooter. Two, if your shot fake looks exactly like your shot. For your shot fake to look exactly like your shot, you have to make sure your eyes actually go to the rim. Most players, when they're faking, their eyes don't go to the rim because they've already decided to drive. Second, the ball position has to imitate the ball position on your actual shot. And finally, rhythm. The rhythm of your peak fake has to be like the rhythm of your shot. Most people fake faster than they shoot, and so it's easy to see that they're not actually faking. In order to master those three things, eyes, ball position, and rhythm, we are actually gonna slow it down here on week one, and we're gonna do super slow micro movements. So Gibson, let me see that ball real quick. The first thing you're gonna do on week one is you're actually gonna either get in front of a mirror, or you're gonna have a friend tape you on their phone, or you're gonna have someone else give you feedback, and we're gonna go super slow micro movements off of a self-toss just in space, and you're gonna make sure that your eyes get to the rim and the ball gets at least to the platter position and that the rhythm's gonna look just like your shot. We're just doing it a little bit slower. Rhythm now means that the ball moves in rhythm with your lower body. It doesn't move opposite, it doesn't move late, okay? And it doesn't move early, but it's actually moving in rhythm as we transfer power from our heels to our toes, the ball moves up. As we transfer power from our heels to our toes, the ball's gonna move up. So you're just gonna get 10 micro movements, super slow. 10 micro movements. After you get 10 super slow micro movements, making sure that you're doing exactly like your shot, maybe after having videotaped yourself, you're now gonna get 10 and gain speed from somewhere on the perimeter into a pull-up jumper. It's gonna look something like this. Gibson's gonna pass it to me here. I'm gonna catch with a one foot move. I'm gonna make sure that I get real, <sighs> real good with my rhythm. I'm gonna get 10 right here. I'm gonna get real good with, ooh. You should feel some sort of a pause at the top as you read the defense. Pause at the top of your shot and pause. As I read the defense, I'll get one more going to the left. All right, after you get your 10 peak fake pull-ups, we're gonna go to our final set of 10, so you can get 30 of these. Your final set of 10 is we're going peak fake, pull up, Dwayne Wade fake, finish. Let me show you what it looks like. We get our peak fake, Dwayne Wade fake, let the defense fly by, reload, getting our jumper. So we're just right here, nope, nope. We're getting our finish. Ooh. Getting our finish. Ooh, ooh, see ya. Notice each time we're getting up to the top of our shot, but our legs are staying loaded so we don't have to reload. That's good, though, to a small lineup themselves if this continues to go. Oh! James Horn fakes it. And he throws it and scores. Right side, Thomas fakes the three. Puts up the three. 